I posted on Instagram in celebration. This is Roy McDonald. This past Sunday, June 4th, 2017, was his 80th birthday. I've known him for five plus years. I said hi to him one evening, and we've been friends ever since. Most of you have probably seen him around London as well. He's an author, poet, singer, busker, and humanitarian, amongst much else. He always wishes me well and worries when too much time has passed between our run-ins. He loves bringing people together and loves to share his 1969 Woodstock story and others' free activism and writings about his mother. There's been a play about his life and his books can be found at various public, the public libraries. People think he's homeless, but he isn't. Just chooses to lead a simple life. In spite of his challenges, he radiates positivity, not exaggerating. He values people and gives of himself to others. Be it a smile, a conversation, a token, I have a few, a prayer, a listening ear, or a hug. His eyes sparkle. He's been witness to the changes in my life. Whenever he introduces me, he graciously compliments me and tells everyone I was at his 75th birthday. He thinks highly of me, and I am very grateful for it. He's close to Bill Paul, the balloon man, town crier, laugh master, who you've probably also seen at City Games or Jack, etc. They're both London veterans. Roy serves as a sound reminder of how we ought slash I seem to lead, lead my life. Let's lift one another up, not tear one another down. He's a gem of an individual. Here are a few photos I had of us on my phone. Next time you see him, say hi. It literally brightens up his day, and chances are it will brighten up yours too. That collage or that collection of photos is over there. Anyway, today, I'll bet with a heavy heart, I will continue to celebrate. It is likely that you would not want us to wallow long given your enthusiasm for life and spreading joy. You weren't big on goodbyes anyway, but rather all about the hellos. My core values mirrored yours, and I admired you, I admired you for your commitment to everything you care about, to people. There is always beauty to be found in darkness. Just last week, which is now more than a week ago, I asked Bill about you because it had been a few months since we had a heart to heart. I wanted to check in and share updates. I knew that they'd make you happy. During a turbulent 2013, following your birthday that I was unable to attend and felt terrible about, you said, you have a strong presence, an aura that surrounds you that not many people have. You will make a valuable contribution to this world, a significant impact. You will leave a lasting impression. I needed to tell you this. I believe this. You are so special and someone I consider close to me. Your words, though I hesitated sharing them online and here today, I think reflect the kind of person you were. Past tense is strange. And it served as an invaluable dose of optimism in a dark, trying period. As a side tangent to what I wrote, I just wanted to mention that, you know, Roy was one of those people who could literally seep into your soul and make each and every individual one of us, I don't know if that was grammatically correct, but, you know, could make each and every one of us feel so special. That I remember when he passed away, I felt that I was alone in my pain. And I was like, oh my god, like, you know, Roy could possibly be as special to someone else as he is to be. But let's be real, he made us all feel heard and loved and acknowledged and really any of the things that people would want from a friend. He was like a 10 in one friend. Anyway. Thank you for believing in me and so many others. Thank you for rooting me on, being my confidant, light on dim days, 
And I'm sorry for crying all over your jacket that one time. What did you expect? You embodied everything you said to me. You were living it. Staying true to yourself, full of love, understatement, caring to acknowledge and welcoming everyone in spite of others' judgments and confusions as though you never doubted yourself. Your selflessness was unparalleled. You were one of the chattiest people I knew, but also a superb listener with an incredibly sharp memory. Like Bill mentioned in his poetry open mic video, which is on YouTube, um, you really did have a 30 minute, 60 minute, and 90 minute version of your life. It makes me smile thinking of your photo pose with arms held out to symbolize openness. Loss isn't easy, and I am definitely not alone in my sadness, but we are seldom ready to say goodbye or see you later. But I wish our last conversation hadn't been as brief as I was in a rush. I wish I had been able to give you your photos that you'd asked for in time. I wish I had been there more, listened more, and been to you who you were to me. I'm sorry for worrying you. En route to an event yesterday, I felt crushed realizing we wouldn't see one another again. Life is about meaningful connection, giving, receiving support, and being thankful. And I am supremely thankful for the time we have shared. Hope we're all able to channel our inner Roy. Your contributions will ripple through each and every one of us. You loved this community and lived by example in kindness, compassion, storytelling, and most of all, in gratitude. I am so proud of you, Roy, and I hope you are proud of you too. Say hello to your mom for me. You lived to love graciously and generously. Shine on and rest well, dear friend. And thank you, Julie, and everyone for being here.